Praise the Lord. God bless you, family. This is Pastor Fields, Agape Worldwide Ministry, Springfield, Virginia. We greet you in the matchless name of Jesus. This is the day that the Lord hath made. We're going to rejoice and be glad in it. We're thanking God. Amen. That he has blessed us with another new day. Amen. And halfway, halfway through this day, we're going to stop and pray and talk to the Lord about what's going on in our lives. Please put in your prayer requests so we can know what to pray for. I'm going to read a scripture, talk about it a little bit as a word of encouragement. And then we're going to go before the Lord in prayer. And so we're just so grateful that we can come together as a family of God, a, a family of Christ, a body of baptized believers in Christ Jesus. Amen. If you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you're also welcome. He said, come unto me, all ye that labor and heavy laden, and I shall give you rest. Everybody is welcomed. Hallelujah. God is not exclusive. God is inclusive. He would at all. Amen. Hallelujah. That any would perish. He would not have any perish, but all come to repentance. <laughs> Amen. That we all come to repentance. He wants us all in heaven. Amen. He created this place for all of us to enjoy. And we are grateful to the Lord for his presence today. Today we're going to be talking uh, from the subject, the snare of the fowler. Amen. We're going to be in the book of Psalms, the 91st chapter. Amen. Hallelujah. And so we we are going to be reading, amen, hallelujah, about this snare of the fowler. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And so Psalms 91 and 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of of the Almighty. He that dwelleth in this secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. What is the secret place? Amen. We know to dwell means to live. Amen. Hallelujah. The secret place is God Himself. Amen. Accepting God's way of doing things. Accepting Amen. God's will in our lives. Amen. That's the secret place. Because a lot of us, we go about our lives fulfilling ourselves. Amen. And satisfying ourselves carnally. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And it's not sinful. Amen. To buy furniture and, and pick out the type of furniture you like. It's not sinful. Amen. To pick out the colors that you want on the walls. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But it is when we start to feed the flesh. Amen. We have to be careful when we cross that cross that line of carnality. If it's pleasing to us in our flesh. So dwelling in God, amen, brings the will of God and the way of God into our lives. And that's the secret place. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And if I'm living there, I'm not out there in the elements. I mean, I'm in the house of the Lord. I'm in the presence of the Lord. The Bible declares it's the fullness of joy and at his right hands are pleasures forevermore. I will say, the second verse say, of the Lord, he is my refuge, my housing, my dwelling place, amen, my fortress, my castle, my protector, my God, in him will I trust. And our key verse, and what the Lord led me to leave with you today, hallelujah, surely, amen, he, he will deliver thee from the snare of the fowler, hallelujah, from the noisome pestilence and Hallelujah. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shalt thou trust. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Once we in that secret place, once we abiding under the shadow of the Almighty, he becomes our refuge, our fortress, and we can trust, amen, that he will keep us, he will protect us, he will shield us, and he will deliver us from that snare of the fowler. Amen. A fowler is bird, fowl. Amen. And so uh, those that entrapped birds in time past with nets and other things to, amen, uh, ensnare <clears throat> uh, the birds, amen, to take them home to, for food or, or pet, or whatever, the, whatever the situation may be. Amen. But God in our humanity will deliver us from us and the entrapments, amen, that the enemy come to steal, kill and destroy. 
Amen. Hallelujah. But he is here. Jesus is here that we may have life and have it more abundant. Just think about the enemy trying to distort, destroy us. Just think about all the carnality and things within our flesh that are crying out for things that are pleasing to the flesh. But, but it kills our spirit, man. Hallelujah. Amen. To separate us from God. That puts enmity between us and God. To fall into the snares of sin. Amen. And our body, in some cases, can crave, amen, those things that bring separation from God. And that's what the devil wants. He wants us separated from God. And he wants us to worship him rather than God, to praise him, to use the devil words, to wear the devil's clothes, to sing the devil's songs, to speak the devil's language. That's what the enemy wants. Hallelujah. That's why he told Jesus in the wilderness, bow down to me and I'll give you the kingdoms of the world. Bow down if you just worship me. Uh, but he didn't come to worship the devil. He came, amen, to set the world back in order and, and turn our hearts and our minds toward God. Amen. And to, and to seek the Lord while he may be found and call upon him while he is near because the devil's end, amen, hallelujah, is the lake of fire. And he wants to take as many people as possible with him when he goes to the lake of fire so amen he tries to entrap us and so with the enemy trying to entrap us in our own very nature adam nature amen sin nature trying to uh, in, entrap us amen we're constantly under alert amen hallelujah and we're constantly uh, if we don't have god in our lives we're constantly failing and falling Hallelujah. Amen. Paul said, when I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. Hallelujah. When I was a sinner, I act like a sinner. I, I, I behaved like a sinner. I did sinful things. Hallelujah. But when I became saved, when God saved me, I put away sinful things. And it's only by the hand of God that, that, that keeps us and sustains us and enables us to avoid the traps and snares of life. Some by Satan, some by people who hate us. Amen. Some by friends. Amen. Friends try to trap you and snare you. Amen. There's some questions sometimes they can ask you. Amen. That that that, that, that you can, amen, that will trap you either way. Amen. They brought the woman to Jesus, caught in the very act of adultery. Amen. Jesus, the law say, kill her. What do you say? Hallelujah. Amen. They wanted to ensnare him and trap him. Amen. He began to write on the on the ground and said, Amen. Ye without sin cast the first stone. And they realized, even though they was accusing her of sin, justifiably. Hallelujah. She caught in the very act. Amen. There's no excuse. Hallelujah. Amen. He let them know that you are sinful as well. Amen. Hallelujah. So we should be forgiving rather than condemning people in, in sin. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Who shall we obey, Caesar or you? Hallelujah. He said, pull out your money. What, who faces on that money? Try to trap him and ensnare him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. But Jesus says, who's face on that money? Amen. You give Caesar what he requires and you give God what he requires. Amen. You can do both. You're able to do both. Amen. Trust God. You that afraid to give to God because you feel like you don't have enough, you will never. The devil will make sure that you don't have enough. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In your mind to give what belongs to God, to God. Amen. It's not just the money. It's not the amount of money. Yes, I said that. Yes, it's, it's your purpose in giving. Amen. It's a part of your relationship in God. It's in your heart. How you give. Amen. And the purpose in your giving. Hallelujah. You could give a million dollars and it means nothing in your heart. Amen. Hallelujah. You can give 12 cents and meet it in your heart. And you give it as a part of your relationship with God. Hallelujah. 12 cents is a lot when you don't have anything. And I'm giving to you, God. And I'm blessing your house in my relationship with you in this physical world. And so that's what that's what's happening when when amen we in relationship him and the enemy will set up little traps and have us fall in these little uh carnal mindsets. Amen. 
have us locked into this little carnal mindset. Amen. I can't give all my money to the church. It's, no, you, you shouldn't. Hallelujah. Amen. It's not about that building. Amen. Hallelujah. It's about the pastor that God has called. Amen. To be the overseer over you and the ministry that represents that preacher. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That's your giving to. But that's a little trap of our mind like they didn't try, try to entrap Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. What shall I uh, do to gain eternal life? You can't do anything. God has done everything. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And we do spend, do your give and amen. Read the scriptures. I've done these for my youth up. Take up the cross. Amen. Sell that you have. Take up the cross and follow me. They often ask Jesus question to try to entrap him. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. But amen. He escaped everyone. That's why we should follow him. That's why we should give our life to him. Amen. The one that made it through all the snares and traps of life. That made it through the snare of the fowler. Amen. He, he's a keeper. He can keep us. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of El Shaddai, the Almighty God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge. He is my fortress. He is my God. In him will I trust. Hallelujah. Thank you. In God we trust. We put that on the money. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Do we really trust it? Hallelujah. Amen. Do we really trust God? Hallelujah. Do we really put our faith and trust in him? And we do we seek him as a deliverer, as our fortress? Amen. And he will deliver us from the, he knows where the snares are. Hallelujah. He has shown the old man what is good and what the Lord requires of thee. Even the snares that we set for ourselves and entrapment in places we set up. Uh, sin. We set up little scenarios. We prepare. Amen. They got premeditated murder. We have premeditated sins that we set up. I work all hard all week. I'm going to enjoy myself. I'm going to have myself a good time. Amen. Hallelujah. Not knowing that in the presence of the Lord is the fullness of joy and that his right hand of pleasures forevermore. Hallelujah. This brain is carnal. The mind is carnal. You give it a problem, it will come up with a solution. The problem is, amen, that brain will come up with a carnal solution. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We have to be led as many as led by the Spirit of God. They are the sons of God. Saints, brothers and sisters, understand uh, that the snares of the enemy are set in our pathway. This path of life that we, that we walk down. The snares of, of Satan, the snares of our flesh and our carnality. Uh, that's why the old folks used to sing this song. Hallelujah. The things I used to do. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I don't do no more. Hallelujah. A great change since I've been born because I'm walking in the footsteps of Jesus Christ. I'm following Christ. I'm, I'm marking his steps. Amen. And I'm stepping where he's stepping. Y'all know in the snow, you can see where people have stepped before you. Hallelujah. A lot of us, when we were kids, I don't know, when I was a kid, I looked for the clean snow. I didn't want to be nowhere nobody had already stepped in. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so, but when we mark the perfect man, we're walking, we see the footsteps, his footsteps, and he's stepping his, we're in his place. And in leadership, hallelujah. I am so grateful that I had a great leader and a great pastor, Pastor Bishop Roberts, Bishop Henry William Roberts. Amen. And where he stepped, I stepped where he stepped. I stepped where he told me to step. Amen. I followed him. Amen. And now that he's gone on to be with the Lord, I know what his steps look like. Hallelujah. Amen. And it's helped me here in this earth realm. But nobody's helped me better than my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. My father, my earthly father. Amen. And gave me some steps to take and he gave me some great wisdoms and uh, knowledge and understanding. Some of the great women, my mom and other people. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, surrogate moms and leader mothers of the church and fathers of the church. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, left, left a great past before all of us. And we, we walk, we mark those steps and follow those precepts. Amen. Or how to earthly, while we here on earth, follow God. But we have nothing better than the scriptures itself. Hallelujah. And uh, nothing better that to keep us from traps that others set. Our friends, our enemies. Hallelujah. Frenemies. Hallelujah. Amen. The devil. Amen. And some things that we fall into in our carnality. That entrapments that, that lock us into. Amen. Them snares are there not to let you go. The snares are there to stop your progress. The snare is there to put you in subject to the fowler, 
to the one that that set the snare. And so now, once you're caught by that snare, you're locked into the wheel of the one that placed the snare there. He shall he he shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler and the wheel of the snare of the fowler. I don't want to be in the wheel of Satan. Because if I'm caught by Satan, hallelujah. If I'm incarcerated, I have to stay in jail. Until they got the key to it. They're the only ones that can take me out and unlock it for me. And let me out. So once I'm snared by the devil, I'm caught up in the devil's mess. I'm caught up in the wheel of Satan. I'm caught up in the wheel of the trapper. That's why they call kid that's why kidnapping is illegal. You can't take somebody, amen, legally, amen, uh, out of their wheel from one place to another or entrap them where they are. That's that's against the law. Hallelujah. And so in this journey of life, be careful. Because without God, you may step into a snare. You might step into something that locks you into it. Somebody been in a snare for 10 years. Jesus, help me, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Some are lifers. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You've been dealing with this your entire life. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Seem like I'm trapped here. Nowhere to go. I'm snared here. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Somebody's keeping me locked into this situation. And it seems like I can't get free. I can't get out of this. Why I keep going through this over and over and over again? I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired of going through this. What's the answer, Pastor? Hallelujah. Psalms 91 today. The Lord told me to share with you. Hallelujah. He that dwelleth in the secret place. Hallelujah. Get into the, the presence of the Lord. And the presence of the Lord is the fullness of joy. And at his right hands are pleasures forevermore. Hallelujah. If any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Stand fast in the liberty wherewith Christ hath set you free. And be not entangled. Entangled. Hallelujah. Again with the yoke of bondage. Hallelujah. He didn't make the snare. But God can keep you from the snare. Hallelujah. He can keep you from the fowler. He can keep it from the person that set the trap for you. Uh, you can't see the trap, but he can see it. That's why he is a light. Hallelujah. Unto our path. He's a lamp unto our feet. Hallelujah. He's a light unto our pathway. That's why we follow him. Because he can bring me through. Hallelujah. This tedious journey may not be easy. Hallelujah. There's traps on every side. Uh, but if I follow Christ. He know the way I take. He know the road that's before me. Hallelujah. He can keep me. Hallelujah. Now unto him who is able to keep you from falling. Hallelujah. And keep you from being entrapped by the snail of the fowler. By the enemy. God is able. And he won't fail. Hallelujah. Thank you. He shall cover you with his feathers. Under his wings. Shall you trust. We can trust in God. We can put our faith in God. We can believe in God. And we can make it through this life's journey with God. Yeah, the snares are still there, but he will help you to avoid them. He'll tell you to make a left turn instead of a right. And it don't make sense. Hallelujah. But it's perfect sense. Make perfect sense with him. Hallelujah. He's, he's helping you to avoid some snares. Sometimes he'll let you see the snare. Ah, oh, God, hallelujah. And the fowler. And the one that said it. Hallelujah. You see the devil coming. I, was, <laughs> I see you, devil. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I give God praise when I see the devil coming. When I see some of the snares and traps that he set before us. Hallelujah. And I thank God. That he is the God of the universe. That he is the creator of the universe. Hallelujah. And he's able to keep me from falling. Amen. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. You that have a prayer request, please place your prayer request. That's Psalms 91. Read. It's good for your soul. Amen. It's good food for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. You that are listening live, if you have a prayer request, please make your request known unto the Lord right now at this time. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Now I'm going to pray. Father, we just thank you for not just being our Savior and our, our, our deliverer, Lord God. You're our keeper. Amen. And you keep us from these snares of life that entraps us, imprisons us, incarcerates us, 
and to the will of the enemy. Lord God, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God, that you deliver us from the power and the presence of the enemy. And the enemy come in like a flood. The spirit of the Lord will stand, lift up a standard against the enemy. We trust in you, God, with all our heart. We lean not to our own understanding, but in all our ways acknowledging you and you shall direct our path. You will lead us down this path of life. If we just follow you, if we just obey you, we'll avoid every one of those, hallelujah, uh, snares and traps and hallelujah, bombs that are planted underneath the dirt, amen, for us to step on, hallelujah, and, and, and destroy, possibly destroy our lives and our walk with you and our faith in you, Lord. Lead us and guide us into all truth. Lord God, help us to dwell in that secret place and abide under, the sh under your shadow. Hallelujah, Lord God. Hallelujah. Cover us with your feathers. And in your wings shall we trust your covering. We know we have leaders and pastors. That's our earthly covering, Lord God. But there's no better covering than you, Lord. And we ask for your divine hand to keep us, to bless, touch, and deliver us, to make a way out of no way, to open doors that seem closed. Bless us in this journey of life. life. Help us walk right before you and do what's pleasing in your sight. You're our strength, you're our redeemer, you're our keeper. We praise and magnify. Somebody's already stuck. Somebody's already been entrapped. Lord God, you can loose the shackles that bind. Uh, break every chain, God. Hallelujah. Break, break every entrapment, Lord. And set your children free. He whom, the, he whom the Son has made free is free indeed. Somebody need to be set free today. They've been entrapped. They've been trapped by the snare of the fowler. Bless, touch, and deliver right now. Nobody can do it like you. Nobody can bless like you. He whom the Son has made free is free indeed. And you, nobody can set us free like you. And we bless, we magnify, we praise your holy name. Whatever it is, help us to step into your will. Help us to study to show your so, so ourselves approved under your workmen. Need not be ashamed, right? Divide the word of truth. And as we grow in the grace and in the knowledge of the truth. It will set us free from every entanglement, every trap that the enemy has set before us. Bless us and we shall be blessed. Keep us and we shall be kept. These and all blessings we ask in Jesus Christ's name I pray. Thank you God. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Thank you all for being with us for this noonday prayer. Amen. If y'all still got a prayer request, I will pray with you and for you. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah. There's no better weapon than receiving the Holy Ghost, hallelujah. You shall have power after, hallelujah. The Holy Ghost has come upon you, hallelujah. So once you have the Holy Ghost, the power of God, amen. His, his di disciples heard preaching and saw great miracles, signs and wonders. That's what we be praying for, miracles, signs and wonders, hallelujah. I pray for it myself as well. Hallelujah, because, amen, I, I, when the devil is acting up so much, hallelujah, I prepare for the demonstration of the power of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, because the Bible says when the enemy coming like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against the enemy. So I love to see God work in his divine way. Hallelujah. I, I often see God's hand. Hallelujah. Amen. In things. And it's a beautiful thing to see. Amen. God's the power of God. Amen. Work in the lives of his children. That's that's what I'm here for. Amen. Every preacher. Amen. We we're facilitators. Hallelujah. We we hear the preaching, they decree and declare, but we also hear, Amen, hallelujah, as as uh, stop gap gap measures to the will of Satan. Hallelujah. To pull out our, our pastor's sword now lead us so it amen and work against the enemy hallelujah and see god bless and move in people's lives and god deliver in people's lives there's nothing like it my brothers and sisters hallelujah hallelujah we've been may endure for night but joy come in the morning so even when amen people are down and in despair i look for amen the the god the, the spirit of the lord the standard amen to come forth and break forth amen in the name of jesus even in these dark times but the light shine in darkness and darkness comprehended at night. I look for the light. Amen. So folks saying, it's dark, it's dark, it's dark. No, I'm looking for the light to shine in that darkness and darkness comprehended at night. Amen. So we're praying with you and for you. Amen. Keep us in prayer. Every prayer request you see, amen, pray for the people. Somebody in the hospital, pray for them. 
Amen. Hallelujah. We we are children of the Most High God. We're connected, amen, to the creator of this universe. Amen. Hallelujah. So pray and talk to God about what you see going on in the lives of God's people. Amen. Uh, people, period. Amen. Hallelujah. He would that all, amen, hallelujah, repent. Amen. Hallelujah. He would that all prosper and be in good health, even as their soul prosper. Amen. To repent of our sins and do what's right and pleasing in the sight of God. God bless you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Thank everybody for their prayers and love. Amen. For this ministry. Amen. The calls. Thank you all. Amen. Hallelujah for what you do. Amen. And hopefully I've done something. Amen. With the help of the Lord. Amen. To, that helped you. Amen. You heard something that has helped you along this journey. Amen. God bless you. We love you in Jesus' name. My closing scripture, 1 Timothy, 1 chapter 17, verse. Now unto the King eternal, immortal, invisible, the only wise God be honor and glory forever and ever. Let the church say, Amen. Show somebody the unconditional love of God. That is, and this is the agape way. God bless you, family. Love you in Jesus' name. And I'll see you guys next time. God bless you. Agape Worldwide Ministries and Pastor Renzo James Fields invite you to come worship with us in Springfield, Virginia. We're located 7240 FNG Boudinot Drive in Springfield, Virginia. Call 703-372-1174. Agape Worldwide Ministries. Real love, real people, real church.